Hello everyone, welcome back to Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead with our intrepid Simon Thorazen Holt, who has managed to survive maybe two nights, yes it is spring day three. So well done us, we are still alive, we did manage to set a fire in an oven in a different place from where we previously set a fire in an oven, which was, if you recall, uh, right down here where this H is. I've marked this uh, new base with, an, with another base thingy and there would be an H there if there wasn't an at there but there is an at there because we are there too and honestly I haven't really planned ahead in this episode I've done nothing between this one and last one when it was uh, just getting to morning when we'd finished doing our eating and thawing out our food and things like that so we're still sat in the same place that we were sat before we are still carrying not very much in fact we should probably drop that campfire drill back into the, the trolley, which we are not grabbing. We are not dragging this trolley, so let's do so. Now, it's daytime, so I'm a little bit reluctant to go outside, but we do need to. We are still on a quest for not necessarily uh, a tool kit, although that would be amazing if one dropped, but the individual components of a tool kit, specifically a decent hammer and a decent screwdriver. Those are a really good start to get our actual home base, and basically anywhere we end up taken apart and, and put back together again in a more... Uh, fortified fashion which is it's kind of prime directive right now is to have a base that is fortified against uh, random zombies because these zeds on the map here these are wandering spawns of zombies and we don't really want to go there um, if we can avoid it so what are we going to do we're just going to keep uh, wandering around obviously there's a few uh, houses we haven't visited yet another thing that we would like to do by the way is to try to create if we can a uh, crowbar which here just requires one pipe. Unfortunately, to get one pipe, we need to break something made of pipes, and we have tried that, but it didn't really work. Mostly because these things made of pipes are too difficult for us to break. So it is still morning, so uh, we can... It's not quite bright enough yet that everything is going to be able to see us all the time. We are certainly want to go to go... Uh, excuse me? English, please. We are certainly going to want to try to go a little bit more cautiously than we have been so far. Let's walk along the pavement because it's less irritating for everybody involved. Um, a bloated zombie is reasonably easy to beat. The trouble with them is that they are going to explode, cause us to cough and get a poison uh, effect. Uh, not too much poison, I think. It will wear off, but we don't want to be doing that if we're in a situation where we're likely to have more fights. Um, which we don't know about. It hasn't seen us, so we could go around this way and have a quick look to see if we're likely to come a cropper of anything else. There is a crawling zombie and a zombie, which we can basically ignore right now. Get you thirsty. Can I drink anything? All my drinks are frozen again, except this. There's only one thing in it. The thing, okay, I'm, I'm paused in my thought because I don't know whether to drink it. I guess we'll be slaked, yeah. It would tell us if we couldn't finish it. And I believe the mechanic is the amount of uh, quench that you get is subtracted from the amount of thirst that you have. And if that ends up being so little that it is below a threshold, i.e. you can't get any less thirsty than that, it would tell you and say, do you really want that? I'm just wondering about the plus one to joy Enjoyed clean water. I wonder if that's because it's cold. I can't imagine enjoying a cold drink on a cold day, but you know how people is and all. So that crawling zombie is there. We can take out a crawling zombie, honestly, with basically zero concern. So let's go and uh, do that. Also, it, it appears to be on a minefield. Let's have a look. Estate sale. Okay. <laughs> uh, on, often a sign like this on the corner of... Uh, a tile. It's kind of difficult to know where the corners of the tiles are, but that's okay. Um, depicts a minefield in that area, but you would see four such signs. In it. Well, you don't see four, basically. However, seeing a signpost like this to a seasoned veteran is a uh, steer clear minefield. There's, I'm going to keep double checking that there's nothing other than the uh, crawling zombie that we can see. And if that is the case, which I believe it is, just stop. I'm just going to Good timing. Smack it, step away, wait for it to move. It has a lot fewer moves than it would if it were not crawling. So we can just do a quick butchery on that, see if it's picking, carrying anything of interest. If it is not, 
and we are walking so that horrible thumping noise will go away fairly soon I hope so what's here we're gonna look around all oh, there's a suitcase what is this here's a suit wait, wait what okay fine let's just wait five minutes and zoom back in good this house could be decent for us in between now and the next episode I'm very tempted to um, go ahead and read all the books that we've picked up because we probably could do with learning some things and it's a good way of sort of falling asleep in real life as well as in the game um, because at the end of the day literally rather than figuratively it's dark <laughs> you know you maybe you want to go for an explore but if you did that you would very much run into the risk of um, you come in a cropper of things you can't see plus if you are about to be tired you don't want to start wandering around going on uh, misses you know you want to stop you want to rest and you want to get something useful done until you're tired which honestly is possibly coming up around a corner I don't know how I'm not currently feeling tired but I also don't have any information on how sort of on my way to becoming tired I am I really appreciate by the way that this house was open from behind because of the estate sale. I'm going to take this frying pan, why not? And we'll close this. So we've obviously explored this already. <laughs> there wasn't much in here. I was hoping the estate sale would involve uh, something worthwhile. Nice having a suitcase, I guess. Let's have a look at it. What do we got? Tab over to here and we'll see if we can find our suitcase. We just type a slash look suitcase. Press E to uh, examine it. A mid-sized suitcase used mainly for transporting clothes and other possessions during trips provides a decent amount of storage, but hauling it around is not exactly comfortable. Uh, so it's strapped onto you. That's interesting. It's a suitcase that's strapped onto you rather than what you, I guess what you might expect is a wheelie suitcase, which is what I was expecting. I'm also going to mark this uh, tile as explored. There's a pavilion and a small wooded trail. And then we can go looking for uh, all these other houses. If you can hear whooping, that's because the dog has still got to get used to the fact that at night she goes in her crate to sleep because that is sleepy time. Um, patties. Okie dokie. I'm going to uh, reset this filter, by the way. You have to be on the right pane for it to reset the filter on the pane that you're looking at. So just ignore the dog. Rottweiler is okay. The cat. See, we could have a little look here, because that Rottweiler is probably chasing that cat. It's a pun, by the way, in case you were wondering. Railing. What is this? Monkey bars. Oh, there's a little playground. That's cool. Rope fence. Posts and stuff. So these are all things that we could think about taking apart to build uh, reinforcements and extensions to our base. But honestly, right now, we're really just hoping to find something of immediate value to us. I mean, here we again, we're going to have to probably smash this window just to get in and then go through the front door. Hope not to meet anything in here, like this crawling zombie, which is fine. I'm going to wait for it to yeah, butcher it and then wait for five minutes. I keep, I apologize for constantly pressing shift Z instead of pipe, but the keys are like right next to each other. In fact, when the keys are literally right next to each other, as in this case, it's kind of difficult not to do it. I'm going to peek around this corner just in case. Yeah, there's a few things that we can see. That house over there is a wreck. Look at that. That's okay. I don't know if they'll be able to see us. No, but if we step out, maybe they can? No. Okie dokie. The safe mode turn itself back on again. No. <laughs> That's okay. I am being careful, just not necessarily as careful as maybe I should be. The rot Viola has seen us and is actually on its way. It's going to be a problem. Where is Tough Zombie? Right up there. We'll ignore that for now. Um, this this could be a problem. Tough Zombie has also seen us and is on its way. That's okay. We have I have put this broken car between us for a reason. The Rottweiler has decided to be in here for some reason. That's, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Notice, by the way, you quickly strike the Rottweiler. With some weapons, you will have a quick strike. As you may expect, that means it's uh, a little bit quicker. Than, than the default strike. So if you are lucky enough to see that, 
It means you can probably get a couple more in than you normally would. It says my torso encumbrance is throwing me off balance, and I don't really want to do anything about it right now. But, this zombie's just smashing the car instead of approaching me. Um, if we run away a little bit, we'll get here. Uh, we, we do need to investigate why that is currently being a problem for us. Because I would like it not to be. Let's uh, butcher these quickly. Make a lot of thumping noises and then uh, wait for five minutes. That should be enough. Yeah. Um, don't need any of that. I am kind of worried about the cockroaches showing up. But not so worried I'm going to do anything about it. So let's just ignore it. Let's bring our shopping trolley. I don't care. Be quiet. Around the way and back into the house. And hopefully we'll find something of value in this house. I did notice that it goes down. Don't know if you not noticed that too. I'm just going to let go of it. These zombies have seen me, so I'm going to push my trolley into the house a little way. And what I can do is grab this and put it in front of the door like this, and then let go. This way, we can step around it, just to see what's going on. Uh, please grab this and pull it here. Grab, let go. Grab this, pull it here, let go. Dog, shut the heck up. <laughs> Seriously. Ah, yeah, I can't, um, they can't get through it, which is, which is grand, except for the fact that um, I would like them to. So, I'm currently running. Oh, you got me. I'm okay for... Oh, heck. Nice. don't know why she's walking so much. Sounds like Jen's going down to find out. I'm doing one step, wait, stab. One step, wait, stab. This way, I'm reasonably sure that the zombie won't be able to get me in between. And I'm going to... Not grab, stop running. Yes, by the way, this W here is walking and then running. Just so you know, if you are trying to figure out what I'm doing at any particular point, as you watch this game, you're going to notice that it's a lot harder to follow what's going on because you're not going to be looking where I'm instinctively looking to see what's happening because you have to figure out what it is that I was thinking of you know, before you try and uh, look in the right place, by which time I've moved on to something else. That's just going to be the way it is, I suppose. I mean, it's like that. And that's the way it, I cannot grab the cupboard. I can grab the oven and push it. Great. That means I can get this trolley through here. Uh, a flashlight and some cola. That's fine. I mean, we are hungry, but cola's not going to help with that. Nor is any of this tainted meat that is lying around. <clears throat> it's just kind of a shame because if you were ever hungry, you could cope with tainted meat. I kind of feel like it's a pretty decent source of nourishment. Unfortunately, being human, rather than one of the turned undead already, it's not an option. Eye drops. Yeah, that's everything. We're doing pretty well. Let's um, just have a quick look here. Nothing is a problem right now. This We're a bit slower because our leg hurts. That's fine. Um, there is a mechanic where you can get infected by being hit by these zombies, which is something I really want to avoid. I'm tired, you see. That's, that's new. So I'm going to peek in here. Activate. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, you can't peek and activate a flashlight. Let's still do it. Activate our headlamp, which is on O. Ah, shady zombies. I'm going to leave the headlamp on then. Because shady zombies are supremely dangerous uh, when it's dark. The reason they're shady zombies, the, the gimmick of the shady zombie, is that when it's dark, you can't see them until they're literally right next to you. Uh, and then, of course, when it's light, they are... Ooh, careful. Let's just run around here again. Um, when there is light, you can see them, and often they can't see you because they have such poor night vision. Uh, we are in minimal pain, so that hurt a little bit. Our intellect's gone down, which is normal for when you're in pain, uh, in case you've ever had to do thinking whilst having hit your head on something. I'm also going to uh, activate this flashlight because it's running low. Uh, I'm going to butcher everything and get through. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to quick butcher everything. See, this 24 minutes. It's going to use a lot of stamina, and we're warm now. But I'm just going to keep doing it. Uh, I think that's everything we wanted to do. And then, wait five minutes. That should give us, yeah, most of our stamina back. So we can do a lot of butchery. Oh, a screwdriver and supplies. That's amazing. Uh, excuse me. I'm not grabbing a vehicle, so pick these up. Uh, beauty magazine, probably worth reading just to put us to sleep. Um, so oftentimes I'm just doing one butchery and then waiting five minutes. Not the most efficient, 
But then if there's not more than one thing to butcher, like what do you expect? It's, it's going to be that way. Steel drum, 200 litres. We could wield that. I'm tempted to, but we can't mm, We can't put it in the shopping trolley, which is less than 200 litres in and of itself. I did change direction. Now, so. Don't need the jeans. I'm running. That's my mistake. If I walk around a bit, it'll go away. There go. Windbreaker, meh. Plastic bag might be useful. Plastic bags and things like that do have their uses. So don't um, entirely dismiss them just because they seem like rubbish. More things are useful after an apocalypse like this than you might consider. Or maybe exactly as many as you might consider because you might be the sort of resourceful person that this country needs. Uh, that's a point. We were going... Oh, really? This is full. So we need to unload our shopping cart somewhere as well. So that's going to be another mission. But we wanted to look at the uh, reason that it was telling us that our attacks weren't working because we had too much... Uh, torso encumbrance and this is the screen that you do that in it's a uh, numpad plus or I wonder if it's just normal plus it's not normal plus it's just numpad plus so, uh, actually doesn't turn it off again yes it is either plus okay good that's helpful for people who don't have a numpad we are wearing this is everything we're wearing all but if we uh, go to the left and right this is torso uh, we are wearing all these things on our torso including a pair of binoculars Okay, and you can see here we have 15 plus 2 is our encumbrance. So 15 is from the fact that, where is it here? This is 10. That's our winter jacket is 10. Camo tank top, no encumbrance. It fits perfectly. Uh, the binoculars have 2 and the M4A1 has 3. So altogether 15 encumbrance. We don't have to wear both of these. Wearing a gun helps. Uh, it actually gives you some clues as well. Look, We'll talk about that in a minute. It helps having the gun strapped to you because, as you can imagine, if the gun is strapped to you, you can just aim it real quickly. You can wield it fast and shoot if you want to. However, we're very unlikely to be shooting, so one of the things I'm considering doing now, putting this gun in the shopping trolley once we've emptied the shopping trolley of all the things and not wearing it. Then uh, the pair of binoculars has an encumbrance of two, but it does say wearing multiple items strapped to you on your torso is added encumbrance there, which means that because we have two things on the strapped onto you layer, which is what they call that, see this is on the uh, one over your other clothes, one next to the skin, strapped onto you. There are two things that say strapped onto you, which means you are, it's encumbering you. It's as simple as that. So we have 15 plus 2 on our body, which is causing a little bit of issue when we're fighting things that have a little bit better dexterity, basically, in D&D in &D terms. Head also has some encumbrance because we are wearing um, two things close to our skin, the helmet liner and the balaclava, which we probably don't need to be wearing now I think about it. Um, although they are adding warmth, you see 30 there and 30 there, that's really warm. Especially since it's so cold out here, with our, our temperature is falling, even though we've got all this warmth on us. And uh, these two are you know, different layers, it fits you well, it doesn't actually say where it's worn, it's just worn on the head and then this is strapped. Which is strapped onto you in a different place, so it doesn't count. Eyes, nothing. Balaclava is also on our mouth, which is great because it's keeping our mouth warm. So we probably should remove the helmet liner. So these are things we can sort out when we get back. But there's just a little bit of a, a once over of your uh, your encumbrance. Oh, jeez, Louise. Zombie soldier, zombie child. Okay, okay. Uh, this could be a problem. So I'm going to run. <laughs> run the heck away. I don't believe the zombie soldier is too much of a threat right now. Apart from the fact that we can run and it kind of can't. But we're quite slow because we've got a hurty leg and we're tired. So running, we're at 102, which is only slightly faster than walking is normally. Is that interesting? 101 when we're walking and 102... Wait, what? I, I have no idea. Just let it thump. <laughs> we've actually gone too far. We've missed our home way... Oh, we're going all the way down here. Okay. We should be able to lose them then if we're doing it this way. I'm not going in there though. I don't want to fall down a sinkhole whilst dragging a trolley. <laughs> Seems like a terrible idea. Um, talk about sink. We would not only be sunk, but we would have a, a trolley on us. I'm going to turn safe mode back on, just in case. I'm going to spot the shady zombie straight away, which is in this paddock thingy. So who cares? Um, I'm just going to keep going. Kind of hoping that those spawn zombies have gone away. You can ignore this zombie too. We're running again, so I'm going to uh, turn that off. Where are we headed? We're nearly there. It's this house. 
to the right. And we are basically good. There's a zombie in a car that we can barely see. We are tired. What we could do is sleep through the day. That door is locked. I didn't open that door. That's a problem. <laughs> Hazmat zombie. Up there somewhere too. If we're sneaky, we can get around here without anything seeing us. Which has happened. Uh, but we really, really, really need to board up these windows. Which is honestly something that we're going to be able to do right now, I think. If this actually had a screwdriver in it. You know what? We should grab it again and use this. Um, this will be our inventory. This will be our dragged vehicle. D. And we do have a screwdriver. We have two screwdrivers. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> I already had the screwdriver. Um, we have apparently got something that we can use to hammer things. So what we can start doing, I believe now, is deconstructing. Uh, we need a better hammer. That's a problem. Well, let's have a look at what we can create. Let's put ampersand and do uh, C, no, Q hammer, which gives me everything that is hammerable. Uh, or what? Level one, level one, level one, level one. I'm looking over here, by the way, in this third section. These all have level one hammering quality. This has a level three hammering quality, but it does require a hammer, so we can't make that. This requires a hammer. This requires this is one. This is two. We can create a stone hammer if we can find a rock and some string. This also requires steel and some string. So. These are equivalent, except this one is made of metal and this one's made of stone. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we can find some rock if we look around. Yeah, so we're, we're going to need, basically if we find a rock, we've got plenty of string. In fact, I'm pretty sure we put it all in a bin. Yeah. So let's see if we can just peek outside and see if we can see any rocks. Interestingly, we cannot. We did pull that corpse that nice. Well, let's go for a walk. The other thing is we have pretty poor... There's one right there. What's the matter with you? I could have found that myself. Zombie child is right on the edge of vision, so I'm not going to worry about it. I will worry about it now. It can't see us still. Let's walk home very cautiously. Bring home this. And then have another look at that hammer, because our makeshift hammer, our stone hammer, two small strings... Or thread or yarn. So I think you can make two small strings string out of. So you should be able to disassemble the long string, I expect. So if I uh, inventory, r. Okay, so let us apply our Swiss Army knife to. Can't cut up a string. What's the matter with you? Drop this string. Normally you can just butcher this. Can't disassemble it. Hmm. What's I can't see? <laughs> can I do it from here? Ruh. Yes. I have to be able to see to <laughs> disassemble the string. Okay, cool. Now we can make a hammer. <laughs> Ham. Where'd my rock go? You need the rock to make but we can, uh, you need to use the rock to make the hammer, which means you can't use the hammer. You can't make the hammer with the rock, because you need the rock to make the hammer in the first place, and not as a component, but as a tool. Um, I'm pretty sure I just searched for, uh, I'll make hue hammer. So we can make any of these things that have uh, level one hammering quality, which includes... I'm just looking for things that we can make out of what we have around, or might be able to have around. I don't really have much of this stuff, unfortunately. But what we can do is wield the rock. Just go and get another rock, mate. <laughs> just stop messing around. What's here? That's that. What's here? See, I've already got to the position where I've forgotten where everything is. So, let's just make a little pile. What's in here? Six small strings we've got. Right. Let's um put our rocks in the bin, because that's where rocks go. Let's find another rock. We might have to fight this zombie child, but that's okay. We did see another rock over here. It doesn't have save regularly. I don't know if the game is so unstable that I need to worry about it saving this often, but I'm going to let it. Right now, all things being equal, 
we can uh, take this rock back, sit down on this chair, have a nice rest, and search for things with quality of hammering, and we can make a stone hammer. We craft stone hammer from memory. Now, thank you very much, we can take this apart. We can actually build a door, which is amazing. No, 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 don't wait. You can shut this furniture. I'm pressing asterisk, by the way. Just on eight. Uh, where did the... the television is there? It's just obscured by the nails. Don't worry about it. Uh, so if we keep doing this, first of all, this is too simple to train art fabrication beyond two. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm not entirely bothered about training my fabrication beyond two right now. What I'm bothered about is I can do this entirely with a number pad, which is great. Uh, first of all, wearing myself out so I sleep long time. Secondly, uh, having enough stuff so that I can... Well, first let's clean this broken window. Can I board up this broken window? No. Why? Board up window. We need four 2 by 4s and some nails. We simply do not have them near enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this slash button here, do an A for surrounding area, and then a direction for everywhere else. I'm going to move everything except for the television. <laughs> over there. And then I'm going to do the same again. Everything except for the television. There's a lot of rags actually. I probably shouldn't move the rags, I don't need them over there. It's nice to have this many rags actually, I didn't realise they were coming out of what we were doing. I think we took a sofa apart, in case you were wondering. Uh, so let's stop moving the rags. It's a lot of rags, so we can sit somewhere. We can probably build um, a chair, or just drag one of these around. Oh come on. Board up window, four two by fours and eight nails. But but maybe I can't see them. How about now? Star. Board up window, perfect. So now we can board up this window. This is what we want to do. Um, we could also reinforce that boarded window, but we do need way more two by fours and nails, and what I'd rather do is well not that. So what I think I might do Let's grab this vehicle and start dumping stuff out of the vehicle, which is D, and then over to here and move all this clothing, for example, onto the pile of clothing that I've already got. This will empty considerably the capacity of the shopping trolley. <laughs> Remember how to speak and we will get on much better. Um, meaning that I can now fill it with 2 by 4s which is basically what I was going to do anyway. So let's can only hold 57, okay? Let's put some stuff in the fridge, which is there. Don't mind putting stuff in the fridge. Let's move all of these things. There's a mushy apple. I think that's probably rotten when we defrost it. That's okay. Just going to put everything that's edible in the fridge. Um, also, I was going to say books, file. It said there was a file amongst the books. Uh, yeah, file is a thing you can read. <laughs> you can read files. That's okay. I was thinking, hmm. You can't really read them, you more sort of use them to, you know, smoothen your nails or other or a woodworking uh, project or something like that. There's a sewing kit nearby, which is great. So we can start using our sewing kit as well. Possibly repair our... Cool, we can carry all those. Let's uh, stop that. Repair... Oh, we're very hungry and very thirsty as well, so we should really take care of that. Uh, let us... We need a table where we can put our clothes when we're too warm. Which might as well, when we can build one. Let's build table. Hmm, no. Let's build it over here. Build table, build it here. So if we now take things off that are too hot, uh, which is going to be the helmet liner for a start, that's helpful. That's, that's just enough already, so I'm glad, with, I'm happy with that. I'm glad with that. It's all goodness. Um, let's board up some windows. Now that I've filled up my trolley with... What the heck is that? Can we close it? Can I close it? Why does it look so weird? I'm trying to get my face closer. Let's zoom in. What is this? Why is it like that? Is that what happens when you don't clean it up first? So if we uh, clean up broken window... I think you do that quietly, by the way. This is different from just smashing it again. Simply because you do it quietly. If we board up, oh no, it's the same. But that boarded up window there looks normal. What the heck? That's okay. Uh, we are going to build a door here. Right? 
we're doing it build door did we fail so as you finish your construction build door I don't see no door Sunny Jim where's my door at I want my money back uh, we can build a wall to be honest which is probably a better idea <sighs> never mind that door it's happened we should really take care of our natural imperatives right now so let's eat we're very hungry and very thirsty. So ideally, I think this, I think we spoke about this before. I think this means it's likely to poison us. So let's not do that. Now, ideally, we all have something that is both calories and quench. That's fine. Apple cider is not alcoholic to an American. So I'm going to be okay to drink that. But do remember that that is the case. Uh, we should drink the milk as well, actually, because see how it'll only last one day? It's cold in here. Although, honestly, Apart from this, there's no real indication of what the environmental sort of temperature is like, which is a new feature. So it seems like something we should know. That's okay. We could eat a peanut butter sandwich, which will actually... Oh, wow, we're still very hungry. Okay. I'm not going to eat pesto. <laughs> we can warm something up. Let's, let's try that. Let's activate our frying pan. Heat up food in it. All right. We need to make a fire. What's down here? wood ash so we can move from our grabbed vehicle to the oven oh that was correct we should have some more two by fours we do i'll just do two we don't need to make a big deal out of that it only needs to last long enough to warm up some food so we don't want to i was going to say we don't want to waste our two by fours obviously we can go around town and just get as many two by fours as we can stomach but i don't want to do that right now so i'm going to try and conserve them there's no sense in being inefficient um, so we'll activate our frying pan. We'll heat up ravioli. This will be much nicer for us, as well as uh, I don't know if it'll be any more nutritious, but it'll be it'll be warm and it'll uh, give us some morale, which is always good. Where is it? <laughs> Can I have it, please? You heat up the food, so there should be something here that is warm. I'm sure you can see it, and I can't. Yes, there it is, hot. So we've gone from smile to grin up here. So that's great. So then we really just need to eat one more thing. I don't want to open the soup until we need to. Carrots are good because don't be confused by this irradiated carrots nonsense. It's not in the uh, mutation sense that they are irradiated. In fact, I looked this up first time I heard about it from this game. Irradiated carrot is just a way of sterilizing the surface of the carrot. Or, or whatever food it is, uh, and, and thus um, making it last longer. <laughs> you kill all the bacteria on it, and then shrink wrap it, and then you're golden. Um, we want to heat up. Uh, by the way, in case you didn't notice, this. Where is it? I was going to look at this uncooked burrito. It's going to last a week. In fact, this chunk of meat is going to last a day, so we should cook that. But this, um, it's negative three joy if we don't heat it up well, we can heat it up so let's what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to use this menu instead uh, which will get us the opportunity to cook the meat we can also cook the burrito actually, so we can do it from there uh eat that cooked meat and we are no longer thirsty or hungry finally but we are tired tired is good because it also means we get the opportunity to do a little bit of a sleep which is something we want to think about um Obviously, it's an opportunity to sleep rather than a necessity to sleep because by sleeping, we get to heal ourselves slightly. So let's just do that. And that seems like a good time to end the episode because we have successfully started pulling things apart in a constructive way. And I think um, when we come back in the next episode, what we're going to want to do... Oh, I have an alarm clock. No, I don't set an alarm. We'll sleep as much as we need to because we're not in any predicament or a pickle so i think we'll be okay and when we come back we're going to try and take something apart that has a pipe that will yield a pipe and then we can start creating a crowbar if we create a crowbar then we can go into houses without smashing the window we can pry open the door instead which is much better because for a start you can close it so we've successfully slept we're very hungry we're hungry and very thirsty again but we're completely healed which is perfect we're in a comfortable state in terms of temperature and it's day four, uh, five o'clock in the morning. So we're going to have another day trip. Unfortunately, that means things can see us, but it also does mean we can see them. 
And if they're shady zombies, that's for the best. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope that you're still learning things about this very complicated game. And I hope that you are very invested in the future of Simon, Thoris, and Holt. If you are, come back next time. And if you're not, come back next time and we'll see if we can make you interested in Simon, Thoris, and Holt. But until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you.